Today we're going to be putting a front splitter on a Dodge Scat Pack. Hey everybody, my name is Scott from the Corvette Channel. I know that this is not a Corvette, obviously, but we are working for TCC Customs, which is our, co our main company that we have created to do all of the work on all the different cars. And so you're watching that on the TCC Customs channel on YouTube. Now, we're just, we're showing you how to install today a front splitter on a Scat Pack. It's the exact same installation on a Hellcat or a regular Dodge if you had it, because they use the same, the same bottom piece on the bumper. They might look a little bit different up here, but the bottom is the same. So you can just order the correct piece. But what we're going to show you to do, how to install it, is going to be the exact same thing on all of their splitters. So sit back and relax, and we'll show you how it's done. So we're here under the car now, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the front splitter on, on the scat pack. And um, the splitter comes in three pieces. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and we're going to screw the, the three pieces together and then that way we can go ahead and get it set up there by putting the, uh, the two-sided stick tape on first and then we'll go ahead and we'll screw it on. It's a very simple installation. Uh, the package comes with the two-sided stick tape as well as the, al the alcohol swab as well as the adhesion promoter. So you're going to want to use the alcohol swab first then the adhesion promoter and then we'll stick it up there We'll screw it on. It's going to be a very simple installation, a lot simpler than most of the other ones that you've seen us do. Um, so uh, we're going to just go ahead and jump into it now. Okay. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to hold part of it here. John's going to help me with this. We're just going to go ahead and and uh, we're going to flip this over. As you can see this has just got a little groove here, and then we're going to flip this over here like so. So this goes in like that. Okay, and then it's just place, and it comes with these, these stainless small screws here. It screws it together. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing over here. Try to make sure we keep it all in the on film here for you. So you could assemble this, if you're working by yourself, you could put this on a workbench and you could put it together. Okay, so pretty much that's all there is to that, okay? So now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to set it down here. Piece out of the way. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to wipe the, the body off, we're going to wipe the, the inner part of the, uh, of the splitter off. and. And then once we get that done, then we'll go ahead and we'll put the, the sick tape on. So um, these are these alcohol pads are just the same as you would be able to get. If you don't, uh, you get these at the store or wherever, just wiping it all down. If you <clears throat> if you need more, um, you can just take an alcohol swab um, or even Kleenex or something like that and get some regular alcohol. No big deal. Okay. Same thing here, swiping it down. And while you're doing that, you can see that this is uh, this is going to be a major upgrade for the front of this car. Because it's got a lot of a lot of scars here on the bottom, and all these are going to get hidden. So this is another reason that you might want to get one of these. So we're going to let that dry just for a second. All right, so then we've got the adhesion here. I'm going to start over here on this side. What this stuff does is it won't hurt. You can wipe it anywhere. It's not going to hurt um, as far as you're not going to be able to see it. But what it does is it helps the, it helps this, the uh, sticky tape stick a little bit better. If I, it, it won't stick to my hand though. also wipe it on here too. Alright. Alright, 
So we're just going to let that sit for a second. And then we can go ahead and we can put the sticky tape on. Now, you can see here, guys, see if we don't want to go real high up on this rim. We want to go up there a little bit, but just below the screw holes, okay? Because if you go too high, then you're going to be able to possibly see it. You don't want to do that. So we're just going to go just a little bit below the screw holes, just like that. Now that we've got the red stick tape on here, okay, what we want to do is before we pull that the, the sticker off, we want to test fit this and make sure that it's going to fit. So we're just going to set it up here and put it up on the edge and just see how this lines up. And it seems like it fits pretty well. I mean, there's no gapping, no nothing. How does that fit on your side, John? Right on the edge over here. Yep, I'm right on the edge right there. That fits really nice. Okay, so then at this point, all we need to do is we just need to drop it down. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the, uh, the uh, stick tape, and then we can set it in place. Now, we've got our, just so you know, because you, if you're working by yourself, you're going to want to be able to have your, your uh, screw gun and your screws there handy because you don't want to trust this tape. Um, the tape itself is not, it's, it's still got a bond, it's going to take a little while for it to bond, so it's not going to hold it by itself. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set it up there, we're going to line it up to the back end, okay, like so. You'll feel it, it there's a definite groove of exactly where it fits, you got your, got your spot. Got it? Okay. Yep. All right, and then at that point, you're just going to start pushing up, and the tape's just going to kind of grab it to the bumper. Okay. Now, like I said, if you've got two people, it's great. You just have somebody hold it while you're putting the screws together. If you're doing it by yourself, then you're going to have to kind of, you know, get here, hold it, put a screw in, that type of thing. So, John's got our screw gun, and we've got, got some screws here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start right here in the center. Now, these are pretty aggressive screws, so I don't think you're going to have any problem with that. But um, if, you, if you'd like to, you, you, know, you can always use rivets. Over here. Notice we didn't have to take the whole front of the car apart. <laughs> it doesn't like we do Corvettes. <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. So, guys, while I'm sitting there doing this, and it being nice and boring watching these drive screws in, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about when you're jacking one of these cars up. If you haven't already, 
and you're going to. Um, these use a pinch well. Uh, they have a the, the lifting point on these are a pinch well, and so you might want to consider getting uh, getting on Amazon or somewhere and ordering some jacking pucks to make your life a lot easier as far as jacking the car up. Um, they're uh, us having a lift, it makes it a lot easier, and I have pucks, but um, you might want to consider getting yourself a set for the last one. All right, so the final touch here, guys, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the, the bottom part of the splitter on. This caps it, also gives it a little more aggressive look. So there's some little there's some uh, little rods that are right here that receives the screws. There's holes right here on, on all four of the, or four of these slots. So you're just going to line those up with those screws like that, okay? And then the screws are provided. And you're just going to go ahead and you're going to put those up in there like that. So that gives it that little more aggressive look, allows the air to go right through. so I'm not in the way of the camera anymore. Guys, that is about it. It's a very simple installation. There's not a lot to it. Uh, probably after you get it, take you longer to get it out of the box than it will be to put it on. Okay, just make sure everything's nice and clean. Make sure you do the your alcohol and your adhesive. Get everything all adjusted, and you're good to go. So, um, if you guys are looking for a front splitter for your Hellcat or your Scat Pack, um, reach to Extreme Online Store. They'll be happy to help you with it. Um, and uh, these were readily available. They have them in stock. So, if you're looking for one, go ahead and get them there. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, I know that, uh, again, you know, this is, you know, we are the Corvette channel, but we are also TCC Customs. And so we'll be putting this on the TCC Customs channel. Uh, so hopefully you guys will start subscribing to that. And the, the channel is growing. Um, but we wanted to be able to show you that we can do not just Corvette and Camaro and things like that. We can do all the other cars too. And a lot of our customers, they have. Uh, obviously, if we've got, they've got a C7 or they've got a C6, it seems like it never fails. They've got a Camaro, they've got a Mustang, they've got a Hellcat or a Scat Pack or something of that nature. So um, anyway, that's why we started doing all the types of different work. So if you need something like this done, be sure and reach out to us. I'm going to put that information right here on the screen as well as uh, Extreme Online Stores information so you'll be able to get it. And if you guys need, need any of this type of work done, I'll give you that information. You reach out to me and I'll give you a quote. So guys, thank you guys again for watching. And you guys have a great night.